All right, uh, Instro, who's brief since Wes is flying, who's briefing Instro and Control Room for me today? I, mean, I can still do it. All right, MTC and Nicola, Chase, everything good with your airplanes? Chase is good to go, and no changes from yesterday. So today's a really exciting day here in Mojave. It's our first captive carry flight, our first time that we're gonna go fly Spaceship Unity. The flight test is the tip of the iceberg. Under the surface are hundreds and thousands of hours of design and analysis and tests to get us to this point. We've had the benefit of building on the previous program, but we don't have to start from scratch, but we also can't just jump right to the end. So that's the new chapter starting for us today, is flight test uh, in the air, and it's an exciting chapter. So today is captive carry, and we're gonna leave spaceship attached to White Knight 2 the whole time. The pilots are on board and trained, the systems are ready to go, and we can fly free if we need to. Staying mated to White Knight 2 lets us really take advantage uh, of a flying wind tunnel. We can test all the aero surfaces. So the pilots today are gonna to put those systems through their paces, see the range of motion, the forces behind those surfaces, literally measure the loads on the sticks, and make sure nothing's vibrating or fluttering in a way that we didn't intend it to. test points for today were at altitude, 25, 35, 45,000 feet. By being up at altitude, we get very low pressure and very cold temperature, both things that we will fight in spaceflight and want to make sure those systems are good. You know, we've done what we need to do to start flight testing, but we need to keep working on what it takes to make this vehicle live a lifetime. So it's not just 10 or 20 or 100 flight tests, it's a thousand flights of commercial service. So, you know, it really is, at the end of the day, a hand-built spaceship. Um, there's a lot of care and love and sweat and even tears that go into making this spaceship. It's both the manufacturing team, the production team, uh, the engineering design team, the testing teams, they're, they're artists, uh, and they do a lot of amazing work. For each person here at the company, I think we all have a dream of making this thing a reality. That We get to do that for someone else, but we get to do it ourselves, the act of delivering it. It's why I came to Virgin Galactic. I want to be intimately involved in putting people into space. I think that's why most people are here at the spaceship company and at Virgin Galactic. We're not just building a spaceship. We're not just building a spaceship company. We're building an experience, right? The thing we're delivering is a life-changing experience to people at the end of the day. And that's hugely motivating. Uh, and makes days like today super exciting because we know we're taking the next step down that path. 